Someone recently commented on my TikTok and said that I should make a drill remix of Addison Rae's new song To Die For. There's only one problem. I've actually never made a drill beat before. That's why today I'm gonna learn how to make a drill beat in 24 hours. Step number one, I gotta listen to some drill songs. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hitman in a touch, <laughs> I see a man topless, even a stick uh, is gay. See, this is cool because I always thought of drill music as so dark, but this is kind of like more playful. Let me just jump in the hot as habits on get my sweat for the city. I don't know nothing about Kali. Get rubbed, we serving in meat? Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I'm messing with it. Next thing I'm gonna do is go watch some tutorials on how to make drill and what sounds I need to use. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make drill beats. Yo, it's so funny. I imagine Simon Servita like cooking up a beat for Pop Smoke, and I don't know why it just makes me smile. All right, I think I'm gonna cop this little J Cactus kit right now, just so I have all the sounds I need to make drill. After watching these tutorials, there are three main things I think I'm gonna have to pay attention to. The first is the snare not being placed on the traditional two and four beat. Two is the bounce of the hi-hats and the accent snares. And three is making that 808 hit hard and do some crazy glide stuff. Now I could go straight into making the beat, but I feel like in order to really make drill and appreciate it, I need to first understand where did it come from in the first place? Now I'm no drill expert, but some of these stories are wild. To understand drill today, we have to take it back to early 2010 in the south side of Chicago. At this time, Atlanta artists like Gucci Mane and Waka Flocka Flame were dominating the music industry. In the south side of Chicago, an artist by the name of Pac-Man was taking notice. He combined the dark, hard-hitting sounds of Atlanta beats with lyrics describing the chaos of the Chicago streets. Pac-Man is credited with being the first person to ever use the term drill in his song, It's a Drill, using drill as a slang term for a shooting. His rise was short-lived though, because later that year he was brutally murdered. However, the start of drill had begun. In 2012, Chief Keef put out a drill song, I Don't Like. This later got remixed by Kanye West, catapulting drill music into the mainstream. Now you might be wondering, how does this relate to the drill music that's popular today, like Pop Smoke and Central C? The answer can be found in 2012 in South London in the district of Brixton. A British hip hop collective called 67 was listening to the new wave of music that was taking the world by storm in the States. They decided to take the sound selection from artists like Chief Keef with dark melodies in 808s and fuse it with song elements from British genres, grime, and UK garage. During this time, drill was heavily frowned upon by law enforcement because of the violent and uncensored nature of the music. In 2018, a group called 1011, now known as CGM, were given a court order that banned them from making music without permission from the police and had to give notice in advance before releasing any songs or videos. During this time, drill music had already peaked in London. However, Brooklyn artist Pop Smoke decided that he wanted to make an entire mixtape with the sound of UK drill and create something that could dominate the States. His mixtape, Meet the Woo, was produced entirely by UK producers. With singles Welcome to the Party and Dior, the drill sound had finally become mainstream on an international scale. This paved the way for artists like Central C to take the reins. Originally, Central C was making music with a very auto-tune type style, but in 2019, he made the decision to change it to UK drill. Once he did this, everything changed and he quickly rose to the top of the UK charts. This success recently led to his collaboration with Cole Bennett on the Lyrical Lemonade channel for his song Doja. Now that we know about drill, it's time to actually make some. I'm thinking for my drill beat, I don't wanna do the typical like dark kind of minor stuff. I wanna do something that has a little bit of weight and emotion to it. About to just go through Analog Lab and see if they got any cool sounds. Damn, that sound is crazy. Yeah, that's hard. Quantize it a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of sauce to the second half. I'm gonna experiment with some different effects. Let's see what halftime sounds like. Woo! Yo, that's hard. Take out the lows a little bit. Throw some retro color on it. Filter it. All right, we need some more sounds on top of it. Thinking maybe some strings or some vocals. Yeah, that's some really cool stuff in that one. I'm thinking an ambient type string sound would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. I'm thinking something like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's cool, but we could even try to make it more weird throwing some portal on it and see what that does. Yeah, it's just like a cool little subtle texture. Yo, these vocal chops are sick.
Yeah, yeah. Maybe add some effects or After listening, I think maybe we could layer that first sound with the piano. I think the piano is a little basic, so I'm gonna see if I can find a couple little melody notes to go with it. Now it's time for the drums. I think I wanna get like a counter snare kind of thing going first. Go to our vault of sounds. This one's kind of cool. Kind of messed up there, but it's all good. Oh, that was kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's hard. All right, we've got our counter snare. Now we need a normal snare. Maybe this crackle kind of snare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we may need a different sound though, because I want it to be a little bit beefier. Yeah, the crackle and the hit of snare. That's that secret sauce, baby. All right, now it's time to get some kicks going. Yeah, I kind of want to crash as well. Or maybe an open hat. This percussion sound, I think, on the one maybe instead is kind of cool. Maybe add a little reverb. All right, I've really been dreading this moment, but I think I just need to hit it head on, and that is the 808. <sighs> I just usually don't do music with all these you know, crazy glides and stuff. I'm just like, oh well, we're just having fun though. Hopefully this 808's in key, let's see. I didn't mean to do that, but I, yeah, this is like the basic template. Now we just gotta go in and try something crazy. Let's see. I know at one point I want like a triplet, like duh, 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 you know, something, maybe at the very end. Hey! Yo, drill is actually kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. I need like a transitional sound. These are cool. Maybe one of these would work. Like layered with something else. Okay, try this out. Gotta make sure this is this Vox transition is in key though. Actually, maybe on the master doing like a little like a little EQ filter or something. I don't even know if people do this. Just like take out some of the lows right before the drop. It's kind of like a thing they do in EDM all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Just for a little moment, I like that. Maybe you could add a couple more snares, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think a bridge right here would be kind of cool. Yo, this is turning out sick! Yeah, I kind of want to see what this melody would sound like if we reversed it. I'm just going to try real quick. Yo, it's kind of hard. I'm kind of messing with it. All right, I'm kind of thinking for this bridge part, a little bouncy bass might be kind of cool. That's cool, that's cool. All right, we only need one thing, I think, to finish it off. I kind of want to add this Hogwarts library sound. A lot of people use like fire or rain or something just to kind of give the track texture. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, it's been a long and hard process, but I think I got this beat done. Let's check it out. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help or any other videos you'd like to see. I'll catch you next time.